Hi there, I'm Daisy from Daisy Victoria. I'm a fashion and costume designer. See, gown in progress. If you already follow my channel and my social media, you already knew that. And if you're not following me, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the notification bell, you'll see all the cool stuff I make. So today we're actually gonna talk about something serious and that is copyright protection. So what inspired me to make this video it is not the happiest of stories, but it is something that does happen all too often. So I recently had a lot of my images of costumes I've created stolen by Chinese websites. Now, <laughs> why do they steal these images is, or what do they do with them is a common question I've been getting from my friends. And as far as I know, there are two um, scenarios that they do. The first one is they will try to make a knockoff, typically failing miserably because they're charging less than the cost of fabric. And the second one is that they don't deliver anything at all and they will actually just take the money from people who have bought these items and then they will disappear. These merchants know how to get around refund protection, so a lot of people are just losing money if they fall for the schemes and purchase the items. So when I had my dresses stolen, first of all, the way it felt was like my stomach just dropped. This is, you go online and you literally see your image from your website on their website and it's an item for sale. So um, I had to take a moment and kind of process my feelings before I acted on this. What do we do about it? So there is something called the DMCA. It stands for Digital Millennium Copyright Act. And so uh, I will preface this, I am not in any way a lawyer or legal counsel. Um, if you need additional legal information, please consult a legal professional. If you are a legal professional and someone has questions, you know, please engage with them, leave a comment, um, help us out because we're artists here trying to figure out what to do. The DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Um, I'm actually going to read from Wikipedia the definition because it's a little less um, legal jargony than some other places. I'll link it below too so that you guys can check it out yourselves. Um, so it's a 1998 United States copyright law that implements two 1996 treatises of the World Intellectual Property Organization. It criminalizes production and dissemination of technology, devices, or services intended to circumvent measures that control access to copyrighted works, commonly known as Digital Rights Management, or DRM. It also criminalizes the act of circumventing an access control, whether or not there is an actual infringement of the copyright itself. In addition, the DMCA heightens the penalties for copyright infringement on the internet. So if you go through the Wikipedia article, there's all kinds of more stuff you can read. Um, you can read about the different provisions, but the purpose of this video is not to be legal jargony. The purpose of this video is to make this actually accessible for people like me who are, you know, smaller designers, maybe even hobby costumers, uh, maybe people who take commissions, um, anyone who needs to access this and doesn't really know where to start. So. Basically, you can get the web host to remove the offending material, that's what this means. There's a provision in here that talks about how the web host can get out of their legal liability if they require their clients to remove the copyright infringing material. So there are forms actually on websites that will allow you to very easily get your content removed. Um, so I will link those below so everything I talk about you'll have a link to it um, Now the first thing I'll say is that you can write your own DMCA takedown form So if you just google DMCA takedown form um, You can find templates like basic ones where it'll be You know all the provisions needed are in there and you just need to fill in your information you can do that. Um, I did in fact start that way. I emailed the website contact and the host, but then I found that the host had these very simple forms. So for example, Shopify has a very easy to follow DMCA form and um, I'll link it. So if you fill it out, they are 
they take it seriously um, and they do get the content removed. I've also had success getting my designs removed from the website Wish. Um, I've also had success getting my designs removed from Pinterest and Facebook. Now, granted, I love people sharing my actual photos. What I'm getting removed is these infringing photos where they've removed my watermark and sometimes they've removed the face of the model as well. So what are your rights with the DMCA? So basically you need to be the copyright owner of the photos. So they're not protecting your dress design like this guy. They're copywriting the photo. So you need to own it. If you are the photographer, that's really easy. You naturally own the rights. Um, if you're not the photographer, then, you know, there's a couple of ways that you may become the rights owner of the photos. So one way is that if you are in business and a photographer is working for you, then if you can prove they're employed for you, then you are automatically the rights owner because they took those photos under the employment of your entity. And another thing is that you can have a photographer sign a release that gives you rights to the photos. So that's another option. So for me, I have um, websites where my photos are displayed, which is where they stole the photos. And it's very easy for me to prove that I own the photos um, on those websites. When I filled out these DMCA forms, um, it was easy. You know, I just filled in like a link to the original artwork, a link to the infringing artwork, and then they'll have a description. Like you can write, you know, photographs I took or whatever it is. Um, I'm really focusing on the photos of fashion and costume designs right now because that's kind of the issue I'm dealing with. So it's really easy. You have to fill in certain things like your address and telephone number and your email, and they'll get back to you. So what happens is that Shopify will pass these on to the offending merchant and then they'll be taken offline. So with Shopify, they took them offline within one business day and um, with Wish, I, it was less than a day. Um, with Facebook, that was the slowest one. With Pinterest, it was also less than a day. They were, I think Pinterest was actually the fastest of all the ones I've filled out so far. And if you find your designs on another website, they most likely have a form, especially if it's a marketplace site. Um, any web hosting service is going to have this available because they do not want to be liable for the infringing designs um, or infringing photos. Oh, another thing I learned is that <laughs> So people were kind of concerned, like, oh, we can't get them taken down because the company is Chinese, right? And it's not US copyright law there. So what I learned, though, is that if the images are hosted on a US server, the images are physically located in the US and are thus violating US copyright law. So take Shopify, for example, they are located in the US, they are subject to US copyright law, so they will remove your photos. I'm going to move on to tell you guys some of the sites you can check out where I found some of my things and I'll tell you how many of my designs were stolen on these sites um, so far at the time I'm making this video. So there's a whole bunch of sites by one main Chinese company. Um, the main company name is actually Chick V and they have a lot of complaints filed against them But you don't know it's that company just by looking at the website and a lot of people are being duped by them on Facebook um, With their ads now I will say <laughs> If you see an ad and it looks too good to be true, it's because it is so anyway, these are the sites that you guys might want to check so the first one that is going around is no Karana and they stole 27 of my dresses. The next one is Rose Lori. They stole one of my dresses originally, and then after I had that one taken down, I checked again several days later, and they had stolen two additional dresses. Um, the website Windy Free stole six of my dresses. Voog Look stole two. Sunny Like stole four. Popbine stole seven. Sassavia stole one. 
Bill Ahsoka stole 28, and the grand prize winner for most of my designs stolen is Shirley Shiny at 34. Now, after I had those 34 designs removed, they actually reactivated seven of those pages, and I had to send another DMCA to get them taken down a second time. So if you do get something removed, you might want to check it again. So basically what happens is they file a counter claim to their web host that says, hey, I took the stuff offline, I'm complying. And um, after they did that, they put them back up. Um, so at seven back up, that's almost one fifth of the designs they removed, they put right back up. It was actually one day after they took them down. Um, and then of course the other website I found them on is Wish and eBay is also common. If you guys happen to find more, comment what they are. So this can be a lot of work to file the DMCAs and get these taken down. So a good question I thought of is why would you even do this? The number one thing, at least for me, is brand protection. So <laughs> I and a lot of us in this community put so much effort and work into a design. For me, most of my work is custom made. I mean, I'm pouring so much time and so much energy into these designs and they are known for being high-end, right? So if somebody takes my images and now they're available for $30, um, that dilutes my brand image and I really don't want that as a business owner. Another thing is integrity for the marketplace. So the more we report this, the less okay it seems overall. Shopify says they will ban accounts with repeat offenses. So what that means is that if we keep reporting them, they're more likely to get banned. By reporting things and standing up for our rights, we are helping the community to achieve or at least to strive toward achieving a higher level of integrity. And that I think is very important and that is something that we all need to be aware of because the future is that e-commerce is only becoming more and more prominent. We want to encourage it to be a good marketplace where people can actually get real items. <laughs> you know, whatever your reasons are to report them, go ahead and do it. These web hosts are taking it seriously and they are removing the content. Throughout this experience, I feel like I've learned a lot. Um, a lot of legal stuff about taking down content that's infringed upon, you know, my rights through the DMCA, and um, as well, I, it's really solidified to me how supportive the community is because we've all been helping each other out in this. If you want to see future topics I discuss or future fashion stuff, like stuff I'm making and videos of photo shoots and stuff, um, please subscribe to my channel and also um, go to my social media and my Patreon, you know, all the places that one might be on the internet. We'll stick together and be the community that shines through and ends up on top in the end. Alright guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.